It's been 40 years since Isabel Harris left Timaru to nurse wounded Kiwi soldiers in a Vietnam hospital. And today she was finally rewarded. The Red Cross tracked her down in Wales and gave her the medals she deserved. Europe correspondent Rachel Smalley was there. Isabel Harris was Isabel Beaumont when she left New Zealand in her 20s on a Red Cross assignment to Vietnam. Her job was to maintain morale and offer a friendly smile and an open ear, often to seriously wounded Kiwi soldiers. You just had to forget about that, I mean, because they were the ones who were, who were out in the bush, they were the ones who were injured. It, um, it's amazing how you know, resilient you had to be. Today in London, she received a General Service and New Zealand Operational Service Medal 40 years after serving in Vietnam. And there we are, Isabel, two nice medals. Congratulations. Despite the horrific nature of the war, her overwhelming memories are of good times. Hungies, barbecues, smuggling a few cans of beer to a wounded soldier or writing a letter home to his mum. And that's you handing a Christmas present to yeah. a, a soldier. We tried to make it as happy as we could, especially in the hospital. As one of only two Kiwi Red Cross aid workers deployed to Vietnam, the Red Cross gave her an album as a keepsake. I mean, there were some sad times when they come in and they, people you knew were killed and uh, others really badly injured. But they always had a great sense of humour and um, really proud to be part of them. The Vietnam War brought pain and suffering to millions of people, but Isabel Harris only ever brought a ray of sunshine into the lives of many Kiwi soldiers. Rachel Smalley, London, 3 News.